A very good morning to all of you. I'm Shweta. And I'm Kiran. Welcome to the much awaited India Force 3.0. I'm Abhishek. And I'm Yukta. And uh, it's our pleasure uh, to host you all for this exciting event for the next two days. Today, we have gathered here to explore the power of free and open source software and how force technologies can empower our country. This conference is a platform for tech enthusiasts, developers, and experts to share their knowledge, collaborate, and inspire one another. Now, as we prepare to kick off the India Force 3.0, I would like to take a moment to emphasize the importance of code of conduct. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we will not tolerate any kind of harassment. So please avoid harassment, whether it's exclusively or uh, any kind of behavioral, offensive behavior of any kind. And we invite you to come to India Force 3.0 in the spirit of curiosity, friendliness, open-mindedness, and respect. Be kind and sensitive to the people around you and respect the boundaries of other attendees. If there are any clashes of opinion, we expect you to resolve those peacefully. Violations can be reported online by sending an email to coc at forceunited.org or you can reach out to any of the volunteers here. You can also reach out to Vishal or Rhea personally if, you, if there's anything disturbing you. Thank you all for attention to the Code of Conduct. I hope you all will uphold to these principles and make sure this conference is an environment where everyone can learn, share, and connect. Now, I would like to welcome Rhea, Mangesh, and Harsh from the Force United team for the opening note for India Force 3.0. Please give a big round of applause. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Why such a shallow good morning? Good morning. <laughs> okay, it's really nice to see all of you fresh and crisp at another India Force. This is the third edition of our annual flagship conference, and I am Ria Matthew, and I manage programs at Force United. And today I am here to <laughs> deliver the opening note for this in edition of India Force. So. Every sequence of events actually starts with a first connection. And as it is evident from this photograph, last year's India Force, I wasn't actually there. I mean, this was a photograph that I found from my mentor's Instagram story. And I was wondering, why is he back at Bangalore? Was he attending this sort of an event? And what was it all about? So I made a mental model to check with him what this was all about. And a few months later, I never expected that I would be joining this organization and also driving forth the next edition of India Force. And this is also why this India Force is actually special to me. Then I was, back then I was in my, I was almost finishing my third year of Bachelors of Technology. And for me, a young rookie developer, FOSS was nothing but merely a buzzword because there was, there was a whole lot of context that I was missing over there. And it, my understanding was also very uh, slow in that case. And all the code that I worked with was just experimentation or jotting down scrap that was for my personal use or in general academia and limited to my then existing knowledge. So joining FOSS United, and getting a few real before that, getting a few reality checks on how uh, technology is inaccessible to a lot of people, and uh, people who are actually and students who are way ahead of me in academia, I found them lacking the capacity to acknowledge tech or the access to it. So I was curious on how we can sort of solve this problem and coming back to and coming to Force United I started aligning with a whole lot of objectives that they followed with the first one was about promoting the spirit of hacking and tinkering building force for public good and also evangelizing the use of force in various sectors of the society now um, so back in the, uh, the early days that I was here as an intern uh, 
I lacked a lot of context and most of the time was spent was spent on understanding the ecosystem better. The Force United Forum that I call as the active archive was the place where you find almost all the threads of activities that is being that has happened and is happening at Force United. So I found this a very good repo to add on to my knowledge. And when later on in late uh, 20, uh, 2022, Kailash asked me to write an annual report of the annual report of all the activities that was happening, that happened at Force United. This was the first time where we attempted something sort of like an annual report. The forum was my <laughs> repository so that I could get context. And there were a lot of questions to be asked, but me being the shy person, I try and find answers myself how long I have to dig for it. So that was the case. So throughout the expand throughout the time I saw the expansion of city force communities. I saw the essence of force hack 3.0, which is our flagship hackathon, and the third edition, which was a hybrid mode. And then I'm still exploring and discovering more. And in this essence, I found the true freedom that what FOS actually means. So from the lack of depth that I had, I used to use FOS without knowing that I'm actually using FOS. And the transition from that to actually knowing that uh, there is a freedom in code and community, the collaborative effort, the, the collaborative spirit of this community that brings in diverse aspects together and the transparency that it offers, whether it is in code or whether it is in principles of the community is also, was also very heartening. And whether it is freedom or collaboration or transparency, all of it actually does not align just with the software ideals, but these are all life values too. And I find, I found it really relatable along. So, um, India FOS 3.0, in our essence, it is a community-run conference. And as you can see in the map, the map actually shows a demography of from where all did the community arise and how many from where all did the volunteers who have actually managed to put this event together come up with. We had people from ranging from West Bengal to Lucknow, to Ke from Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, and Hyderabad. Delhi coming over to join us in making this event what it is now. So what, while India FOSS 2.0 was known for its uh, discussion, where FOSS was discussed extensively and the ecosystem was developed on to evangelize the use of FOSS within the subcontinent, we, in, for India FOSS 3.0, we f are focusing or we aim to focus to create a dynamic ecosystem where FOS isn't just discussed, but we can also celebrate experience and it is experienced and even evolved. So we focused on making India FOS 3.0 more accessible by starting our diversity initiative where we help students, uh, help students attend FOS, uh, India FOS from far and wide. Then, uh, we also have our new uncon. We also tried introducing our unconference track, where you, which will be open from 10:30 onwards, and you will find yourself experiencing different FOSS tools, uh, stories of communities, and all together. So another important aspect that we wanted to introduce was the FOSS awards. So to celebrate the contributions, projects, and community initiatives, we decided to introduce FOSS awards this year. And due to some logistic, uh, logistic things that came up, we had to drop our plan of uh, giving away FOSS awards at India FOSS here itself. But we have again started the nominations for FOSS awards, and you'll find it in the open spaces, the counter where the nominations are actually happening. So, uh, so we have scaled in such a way that we did not even imagine that it will be in a it will be in such a short span of time, and scaling like that or growing widely meant that our tech infra was also uh, suffering a lot because most of our systems were centralized instead of being community owned. 
Our existing system is built on an instance of Frappe framework. You would have, most of you would have visited FaustUnited.org, where our website is hosted. And Frappe offered the ideal FOS stack that we wanted that, that facilitates our scope with its low-code suite of features. And it also promotes rapid development and quick testing. But you see over here, uh, while managing a central instance, you see the engineering <laughs> bloat that, that happened over. Uh, a whole lot of custom documents that are being created for each and every event, for each and every instance. This is what has been happening. So. To find the solution for this, Rishav actually suggested that why don't we consolidate all of our initiatives, all of, we were managing three domains, FOSS United, India FOSS, our own conference management platform, and Mon School, our learning management system. So the idea was proposed, and for me, who was uh, having my time uh, involved in the community for a long time, I was interested to sort of tinker again back with tech. So we thought of taking up this project on a serious note, which is why we are announcing the FOSS United platform, which we are developing uh, on a note so that we can sort of consolidate all our activities, initiatives. Uh, main, our main focus runs on events and the campus communities, and we are trying to create a decentralized system so that they can have more ownership. So uh, with, all the, with all the general organization things, I found myself, even though while at this project, I found myself more into AWIT project management uh, rather than writing code, and even uh, more into modeling and architecting the ideas rather than going into actual rapid development. So, for to and that will be something that I'll I ha, I regret and at the same time I'll try to rectify. But I am blessed with two tech interns who've been taking who've been actively contributing to the development of this platform, Harsh and Mangesh. So now they'll be taking up some time to walk you through the features of our new platform. So, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, everyone. So. As Ria nicely told why the new platform is needed, uh, I want to talk about why the new platform from a developer's point of view. So uh, the, I read a quote uh, some days back on Twitter. It said, like, an underrated source of idea is solving your own burning problems. I think best of innovation happen in the situations of dire need. Now, as Force United is growing, with uh, city communities and uh, FOSS clubs. Things in FOSS United currently are going into a kind of a dumpster fire. All the modules are like intertwined. There's copies of copies of modules. So it's a mess right now. So that's one of the reasons why the need of a new FOSS United platform comes up. Second, uh, again, like we could have done this with a third party uh, third-party applications, we could have created a platform where we couldn't handle all the events, but we decided to go uh, the engineer's route and build it ourselves. Uh, second reason why uh, FOSS United platform is needed right now is because currently the FOSSUnited.org website as well as the IndiaFoss.net website is not fully open source, as you would say. You, no, uh, you can't just go ahead and start contributing to the uh, to the website, uh, to the project, right? Because uh, it's hosted on Frappe Cloud instance, and you would have to have a bench access to do that. So in terms of open source, we cannot say that it is fully open source. To solve that, oh, shit. just a minute, guys. All right. Okay, to solve that, uh, I'm announcing that uh, we are making the new platform fully open source with a repo on GitHub. So anyone can go on github.com slash forceunited slash forceunited and just start contributing. The new platform is also built on Frappe framework and we are not using any new fancy uh, front-end framework, right? We are just going with plain 
uh, vanilla JavaScript, HTML, CSS, jQuery, all that stuff. So it is very beginner friendly. I, I would like if you guys can just go ahead, maybe see my code, see how bad it is, critique it, raise some issues, do that kind of stuff, and maybe just contribute to it. Uh, uh, let's talk about platform now. Um, the first thing is uh, event management stuff. So let's see. Yeah. So event management is made easier now in the new platform. Uh, new platform is built around uh, the concept of FOSS com uh, city communities and FOSS clubs, right? So uh, it has been designed in such a way that there is a little to no repetition of uh, data or code. Uh, and uh, and like, uh, there will be less repetition of data entry. So right now, if there's an event going on, uh, for example, India Force, you would have to register for it by filling up a form. And if uh, f suppose there's another event next month, you would have to again fill up a form with uh, the same values. So it doesn't make sense, right? So with the new platform, uh, we are planning on uh, reducing that redundancy of uh, data and re reducing the number of times you have to fill up any kind of form. We'll talk about that later on. Third point, uh, automated invoices. So uh, we get a lot of emails, right, after a ticket, uh, a ticket is booked. So people want their invoices, people want their GST invoice, right? So uh, invoices will be automated in the new platform. Uh, so that is a great thing. Uh, also, we have a certain way of how ticketing works at Frappe, right? Uh, Fra Razor Pay integrations and stuff like that. So we are open sourcing that, how tickets work and that workflow. And I think we are the first in like India to do that, open sourcing the ticket work workflow. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> again, no more recurring form fillings. Uh, next big thing that I like very much is uh, the inbuilt CFP management. So right now we get a lot of talks uh, for India Force as well. We got a lot, lot, lot of talks. So currently, how we do it is quite embarrassing. We use uh, Excel and spreadsheets to uh, vote and like review the CFPs. All that will be gone with uh, with the new platform. So there will be in uh, like inbuilt ability to review any kind of CFP for any kind of event. Suppose you're uh, a member of uh, Bangalore, Bangalore Force City chapter, right? So you can create a CFP for any kind of chapter separately, and you can review it uh, separately, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so one more thing would be that uh, there will be an ability to com comment and vote by anyone. So the general public can go ahead and look at CFPs and vote on that or comment on that. This brings in a perspective for like community-based talks. So uh, that is something new. Uh, also, the anonymous CFPs are also possible with the new platform and the CFP management that's there. Yes, so why I was so fixated about recurring forms uh, and why we have to fill it again and again, right? So. There's an idea of a FOSS profile. The platform's idea was like brought to me by Rushab, right? So the idea was that to have a conjunction and an inter intersection between a job portal and a professional networking site. So with FOSS profiles, right, uh, we are trying to achieve that all your social links, all your social like uh, footprints, your GitHub, your medium, your dribble, everything can be integrated in one profile. So we are trying to achieve that and we'll be working towards that. I'm really excited for that actually because I think that will be like your one-stop resume kind of thing to everything. So yeah, uh, I'll invite Mangesh now to talk about rest of the features. Uh, hi everybody. So uh, this is a kind of a lot of features now. Uh, so I so recently I started uh, uh, writing the newsletter inside Frappe itself. So Frappe has a built-in feature of writing newsletters. And before, we used to write newsletters and all the bulk emails uh, with list marks. So 
please do not consider this slide as a controversial one because it's not. Uh, the thing we uh, is that we are moving from ListMonk to uh, Frappe for newsletters and all the things is that uh, we have to export uh, all the emails and all the data from Frappe, then input into uh, CSV, and then get directly to the uh, ListMonk. So while that, while that has been done, uh, there's email, uh, and there, there's actually the format uh, in which the CSV data needs to be. So that was getting a bit tedious for us. So we thought that we'll just use the default Frappe newsletter, which is way more convenient for us, and it won't cause many issues. But we still love ListMonk because ListMonk is a great software, and we will keep us using it. So that was the reason why. And so we also have one more announcement. Uh, any guesses? No? OK, so let me tell you that. So we are in introducing the FOSS United Merchandise Store. Uh, it's basically being built with Bilduin, Bild with Hussein. Uh, you'll listen to his talk uh, ahead. So we will be actually, actually having the e-commerce store uh, for uh, selling our merchandises, like t-shirts, and uh, many more are coming ahead. Uh, OK. OK, so while we were taking up this project, we had a lot of uh, intudes in planned. And while most of the systems are being under development, we still believe that there is a whole scope of perfection. And so we decided that we'll publicly release this our new platform on January 2024, while we'll be running custom dry runs with, uh, with our uh, city events on a prior, on a case by case basis, so that we'll have rapid testing of the platform too. Now, uh, the whole story of India Foss and Foss United started with fostering the Indian Foss ecosystem. India is ideally now the startup and corporate hub of uh, corporate hub, but still, I have I have heard stories of how uh, the the proportion of force projects that comes out of India is negligible when compared to the wider corporate sector, which is why we need a dynamic ecosystem where FOSS is not just discussed, but celebrated, experienced, and evolved, which is why we are gathered here today and tomorrow at India FOSS 3.0. So I wish you all a very happy time at India FOSS. Thank you, everyone.